Hello guys, this is Tech Howdy and I welcome you to this video tutorial series on creating an Angular 7 application with ASP.NET Core 2.2 Web API. So in the last video tutorial, I told you guys about the Angular CLI version that was used when we created our ASP.NET Core project. So the version that was installed by default was the version 6 and our requirement is to use version 7 for this project. So to update the Angular version, we can apply two methods. The first method is to go ahead and update this application using the terminal. And by doing that, the version of the application will be updated. The second method is to just delete this client application and recreate this using the terminal. So we will use the second method. And the reason to do that is because I found a particular kind of bug in this uh, .NET Core CLI. When I try to update the application, I see the name of the files twice. And let me show you what exactly I mean. So here is one of the applications that I created using Angular 7 and ASP.NET Core and I directly updated the client app. And this is what happened the name of the files appear twice in the application. If you see, I can say git ignore twice, I can see edit config twice. And if I go to my source, I will see the file's name appearing twice. Even though when I go and reveal this folder in Finder, you will notice that the file names don't appear twice. It's just that in the Visual Studio IDE, the file name appears twice. And I have noticed this problem only when you directly update the angular app so for in our case here i am not going to directly update it instead i'm going to use the second method which would be to just go ahead and move this client app that we have created by default to our trash so let's do that so once you have deleted the client app just go ahead and open your terminal and the thing that you want to do now is go ahead and cd into this folder which is ng co underscore core underscore auth and just hit enter now let's just do ls to see what files are available under this so to make sure that we are inside the right project folder now all we want to do is run the command to create our new angular app so let's go ahead and run that command Command would be ng that stands for angular new and the name of the application and the name of our application was client app that we just deleted and guys just before you hit enter make sure that you have updated the global version of your angular cli that you installed on your computer and that's why in the video tutorial in the previous video tutorial we updated our angular cli so that it is being used to create this new app and if you have a global version of 6 instead of 7, then version 6 app will be created. So make sure you have updated the global version of your Angular CLI. And then you run this command and hit enter. So let's hit enter. And now it's going to ask you, would you like to add routings? For now, we will say yes. And then we will move routing to another module as we proceed in this project. So let's say yes, that's why hit enter and then we are going to use CSS so it's already highlighted so we are just going to hit enter and now as you see the client app has been created and the code files are being compiled for us so as you see there is no errors and our application was successfully uh, created there were zero vulnerabilities found so now let's go ahead and cd into this client app that we just created and now let's check our ng version that is installed and as you see now we have an ng version of 7.3.1 that means we have the latest version because that was the global version installed on our computer so now let's go ahead and run this application in visual studio ide and make sure that our application is loading fine 
once the application is loaded as you can see that in your package.json file the versions also have been updated now make sure that you run the application and the application is loading in our browser and as you can see now we have our client app it says welcome to client app angular and that means angular 7 has been installed now we can use angular 7 to make any changes or to work with our project requirements so that's it for this video tutorial in the next video tutorial we will start working on the backend of our application so please like and subscribe this video channel tech howdy for more videos like this thank you